Kenny. <laughs> You've been called a force of nature. <laughs> they say you're, you're a musician, you're a choreographer, you're a director. A producer, you've—I mean—you've just accomplished so many things, and and it all shows with this movie, High School Thank Musical you, Three. Thank you, very much. What what was the the biggest challenge from from taking this from the screen mm -hmm. to the big screen? Mm -hmm. Whew, to uh, to keep in mind, you know, why we're there in the first place. You know, that we have a fan base that has come to fall in love with this world and these characters, and to not let them down. You know, uh, to be reminded of who we were making this movie for. And, and I think, you know, to create an exciting set, a playful set, you know, an inspirational set to, to, uh, to make sure that these guys were having fun and that they could bring these characters to a, a new fuller place, um, you know, to find new surprises, to, to, to be able to find a way to make this the, the best celebration of the movie yet without throwing the baby out with the bathwater, keeping it still recognizable. So that when the kids come in and they, and they look up at that screen, they know where they are, they know who they're with, and they get ready for the ride. Now, we have all these great musicals, movies that, that's happened in the history of Grease and mm -hmm. West Side Story and uh, some other ones. Why mm -hmm. has there been such a, a break between those movies till, till you till you came along and created this? Wow, nice. you know, the times, you know, they're just... Uh, maybe not knowing who to market them to. Clearly what we've discovered is that, that, that there's an audience out there, you know, the youth of the world that has sort of really come to embrace this. I don't, I don't think that they would just embrace anything though. You know, I give them a lot more credit than that, you know, and I do believe that High School Musical is filled with the right stuff. I think that we have a wonderful world that Peter Barsacchini has created, awesome characters. We did some brilliant casting here with these young people. They've, they've, they've handled you know, this with such you know, incredible responsibility. What they brought to these characters, you know, uh, uh, they, their hearts are all over these movies. The, our composing teams and lyricists and you know, our designers. I think that this is a real coming together of some really like, talented and wonderful people who've all been like on the same page, you know, that and, and that the Disney Channel figured out a way to get the message out there and that kids saw it, came back to it, talked about it, and the word has spread. This movie hits home runs on so many levels. The music is good, the dancing is good, like you said, the casting is good. But one of the things that hit me was that your story really captured a lot of things that seniors in high school go, go through. Mm -hmm. How were y'all able to, to capture that and mix it with you know, the, the movie without making the movie too heavy? Yeah, thank you, man. You know, it is all about balance, isn't it? You know, and, and uh, you know, there have always been sort of themes and messages, uh, you know, uh, ideas that have lived in the heart of High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. And, but, you know, our, we really all agreed that High School Musical 3 needed to grow up, you know, that it was now time to say goodbye to these characters and that now they are really coming of age and the light of the future is shining on them, you know, and, and asking them questions and that they're, you know, they're now on the spot, you know, who are you going to be, where are you going to go, you know, what do you want to be? You know, and, and so it's like, you know, suddenly they're leaving their childhood behind and moving on to the rest of their lives. And so we thought that this was like a really good place, you know, to, to, to be with High School Musical. But we also didn't want to lose the naivete. They are still kids. They are coming of age. They aren't grown-ups. Right. And, and I remember when I was graduating from high school, I was more a boy than I was a man still. Right. No matter what I wanted to really believe, I've learned, you know, in the years following, I didn't know anything, you know. So it's a scary place to be, an exciting place to be, and, and I just thought that this would be a really fun place for us to, you know, sort of be in celebrating this final chapter of High School Musical as we know it. 